I'm Christine Persichetti with this Currents News update. A former deacon in the Diocese of Brooklyn was sentenced Wednesday on charges stemming from sexual misconduct with minors. Currents News' Jessica Easthope has more from outside of Brooklyn Federal Court. Rogelio Vega, that former Diocese of Brooklyn deacon, will spend the next 16 years behind bars. He was sentenced Wednesday in federal court after pleading guilty back in September of 2022 to three counts of enticing a child to engage in sexual conduct. Federal Judge Eric Comedy handed down the sentence after Vega made a tearful statement, apologizing to his family and the victims. Vega, who says he himself suffered sexual abuse as a child, wishes he would have spread the word of the gospel instead of hurting these young boys. Vega served as a deacon at St. Sebastian Church in Woodside, Queens, until his arrest in January of 2021. According to police, Vega used cell phones and messaging apps to solicit sex with minors between the ages of 14 and 16. His initial arrest came after he was unknowingly communicating with an undercover detective who he believed to be a 14-year-old boy. Following his guilty plea, the diocese released this statement saying, quote, immediately upon the arrest of Rogelio Vega in January 2021, the Diocese of Brooklyn removed him from ministry, which prohibited him from ministering as a deacon and performing liturgical duties. The statement goes on to say that, quote, we pray for the three victims in this case. May this resolution be a first step toward healing. Judge Comedy said there could likely be more victims in this case as Vega was engaging in this behavior for at least six years. After his 16 year sentence, Vega will be on supervised release for five years and will be required to undergo mental health treatment and register as a sex offender. In downtown Brooklyn, Jessica Easthope, Currents News. The Diocese of Brooklyn released a statement after Wednesday's sentencing, saying in part, we hope the healing process can begin for the victim survivors in this case. We pray for them and all victim survivors of sexual abuse. These heinous acts betrayed not only his victims, but damaged the sacred trust of the faithful. The Diocese of Brooklyn states that it is committed to preventing abuse and helping victim survivors. It has done so by creating the Office of Victim Assistance to help individuals who come forward with allegations of abuse. The office provides supportive initial counseling, therapy referrals, and pastoral resources for victim survivors. Every employee of the Brooklyn Diocese, including students, undergoes mandatory background checks and training designed to spot the signs of abuse and how to stop it. The Diocese of Brooklyn also hosts the yearly Mass of Hope and Healing, where the faithful come together and pray. They also created a confidential diocesan line to report abuse. Reports are automatically sent to law enforcement and there isn't any church involvement to ensure compliance. That number is 888-634-4499. Once again, that number is 888-634-4499. Hi, I'm Christine Persichetti, anchor of Currents News. If you like what you saw, please hit the like button on this video. And if you want to see more content just like it, subscribe and click on the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching because we are putting your faith in the news.